Okay, we're going to play a video, and then we're going to show you three new things. All right, Lady Ada, what's this? Okay, so um, a few weeks ago, we released our Feather RP2350 featuring, as you may guess, the Raspberry Pi RP2350, uh, dual core Cortex M33 or Risk Five Feather board. And um, one of the cool things that we added was an output for the high-speed transmission. Um, so this is eight pins that are designed specifically to drive stuff like DVI displays. And you don't need to use PIO and you don't need to overclock the chip. It's like a high-speed peripheral. So um, today I got and put together a prototype for a DVI converter from the HSTX 22 pin cable. This is the same cable pinout that the Raspberry Pi 5 uses. So it's like a semi-standard. Um, and then um, we have circuit Python support for DVI output on the HSTX. So this is the demo and I can like print hello and then it shows up over here because we got the REPL um, mirrored and then the demo we've got is it displays a bitmap image. Uh, so this is just a color test. So you can see uh, there's color output and we can display a bitmap image. Uh, it does some dithering as well. So this is good to go. Uh, I also hooked up I2C so it can read the EEPROM of the DVI display. Uh, and you can connect it to any HDMI monitor. So this will be coming soon to the Adafruit shop. A lot of people have questions about that. We're going to get to those because we have them ready. Lady, yeah. what is this though? Um, this is me revisiting another chip that didn't make it to the part or a prototype that I designed during the part shortage and then like didn't send out. We covered the LPS 28 on a previous INMPI and uh, then I realized and then like prices for them were like really ridiculous and then I like randomly checked today and was like, oh wow, the price is reasonable again. Um, so I ordered the prototype PCBs. Yeah, well, what's this? Um, this is a breakout for the chip I talked about on Death Game Lady Ada, the BQ25185. It's kind of nice, um, inexpensive, all-in-one LiPo or LiFe lithium ferrite phosphate battery charger, multi-chemistry, multi-current, um, nice status LED output, um, uh, proper power management so the load is separate than the battery. Um, I thought we might use this on some of our feather boards, and so I wanted to try it out to make a breakout board. It's I also like that it's a, you know can handle solar input, which is cool. That's nice. Yeah. We're gonna be doing some solar stuff soon. Okay. Yeah. What's and this? And then this is a another little board made with that same chip, except this one has a 3.3 volt buck output. Um, so it's like an all-in-one battery board for 3.3 volts with light. Coast up, Tigger.